I kind of deserve it for what trying to be entertaining when I was in my 20s. Internet was a completely different place when I was younger. You don't think everything's going to follow you around and people are going to go back. Yeah, I love the documentary he made. I mean, it wasn't 100% accurate, but it was a good documentary. I'm probably gonna go to sleep here and probably get up like one o'clock. At one o'clock, I'm gonna probably take I'll probably take my vitamins right now. I wake up at one o'clock. At that point, I'll probably have to do like some type of walk or something like that, and then I'll probably consider streaming again like two, two thirty, three o'clock. Uh, John, can you go ahead and ban Aubrey Brown? He's spelling out brandy. That's all he's doing. No, it's gonna be lame. Because the trolls pulled some fucking clip that's out of context out of their ass. And they're and they're trying to get the fight canceled with it. And they're going to probably come out in force during that Twitter space. And it is what it is. I don't know what time to fight is, Mr. Phone. It's some type of like, I don't know. I've never heard of it either. But they took a clip from a commentary I made like, pff, shit, I don't know, eight, nine years ago. And just took it for like a base statement. And they're trying to make it, and then, then they're trying to use it to cancel me. It, it is what it is. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's just, I just don't feel like dealing with it. I don't know who that is, man. I'm I'm not going to think about fighting somebody else until I finish with Boogie. I kind of deserve it for what? Trying to be entertaining when I was in my 20s? Look, dude. Internet was a completely different place when I was younger. Completely different place, right? When you're like 23, 24, you don't think everything's going to follow you around and people are going to go back decades to try to find shit and try to try to ruin your life with it. It ain't even about the statement. The statement was incorrect to begin with. Go ahead and ban Christy P. Pedophiles are fucking terrible people. You should never promote them. Yeah. It's not okay to say anymore for Mr. Fallout. You don't agree with my mentality when it comes to the fight? What mentality is that? That I shouldn't look past Boogie? Nah, I'm not high. 100% there's a height difference between me and Boogie. Boogie's being positive. And I get, I, get, I get criticized all the time for being just being real with you. So do you want me to be real with you? Here's the realistic expectation. person that wins the fight will have a chance to make another fight. And that means they have a second payday. And you'll continue to have paydays until you lose, right? Or until you get tired of it. Winning or losing the fight will have no bearing on anything but how people pick on you at the end of the day. If I lose the fight, people say, oh, you lost the boogie. You can't beat anybody up. You got bitch in your blood, blah, 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 blah. If I go in there and I knock boogie out like a savage, they'll say I beat up, they'll, they'll say I beat up a 50 year old man that was on disability. He what he shouldn't been in the ring to begin with. Why are you beating on your elders? Blah, 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 blah. It's a catch 22 with that notice, right? And then they'll just take clips of me and boogie with our shirt off or like, you know, small frame size like locations of like somebody one of us hitting each other and our face is all disfigured and stuff like that that's how this fight is going to be there's going to be no positive trajectory left or right because realistically people will use you until you can't be used anymore and then they'll go on to the next person that can be used that's called the dog eat dog mentality that's the truth but, caveat with this, you can know this and use it to your advantage. Even though I'm not where I want to be, I'm down 20 pounds. I feel like I look better. I feel like my color is better. I feel like the positivity around me is a lot better than normal. I got a lot more people in my corner than I normally have. Right, plus 10K in my pocket. That's also a positive. Complex. It, well, that wasn't even two hours ago. It was an hour and 17 minutes ago. Not even an hour ago. But my depression has nothing to do with that. My depression is because... I'm naturally a manic depressed. That's who I am as a person. Oh, I'm 100% going to go in there and try to win. 100%. I started at 426.8. I weighed myself this morning at 405. So I lost 21 pounds so far in three weeks. I've lost around seven pounds a week. <clears throat> I just need people to believe in me. I have entertainment in my blood. But the fact is, I'm bad at entertaining by myself. I always need somebody to play off of. And the fact is, like, my go-to way of entertaining is to be raunchy. And, like, you know, it is what it is. That That's done nothing but make my life a living hell for the last decade. But... I'm just being real with you. Like, that's that's the realistic answer to everything here. I'm not boogie. I'm not fighting to keep 
you know, fucking toys or like, is there shit like that in my background? Yeah, that's because it's it's a gaming background. It's it's supposed to be a fun like like experiment. But you know, like, there's a Halloween decoration I took down. There's a Christmas star like right there. It, it, it is what it is. It's There's another Pikachu right here. Won't ever zoom in on his ass. Well, the reason that star is there is because my Christmas tree is in, that, is in that closet right there. And when it's time to pull that bitch back out to get that festiveness in, Christmas tree come right back out. <laughs> so we about efficiency up here in the uh, Jordan household. These are the two cows that rode in my truck forever. That is a polar bear for a Coke. That's a picture a subscriber painted of me. This bat, I haven't took him down because... Like, there's like a series of lights there because I used to try to set my room up for three-point lighting back when I made YouTube videos. And I just don't feel like getting in a chair because I'm a big fat land monster. No, it's an actual closet. <clears throat> All my Pikachus, but two were gifts. Well, I guess one. This was the last thing my grandfather ever got me. He won this at a carnival for me. This guy was a gift from my mother one Christmas. And I have two of him. She got, My mother got me one and got my brother one. We were into Pokemon when we were little. And we got... These things were hot. They were like one of the hottest toys out. The talking Pikachu. And I bought my brothers off of him. And my brother got me that one Christmas. Because I had the Pikachus. My favorite Pokemon is Blastoise. <sighs> and as I get older, Snorlax is kind of bay too. Because Snorlax, because napping's fucking fire. Let's be real. Nah, I don't care about having hair or not. Actually, I disliked having hair. Because like, when I had hair, I played sports. And I used to hate when I would get sweaty and my hair would get wet. And that cold sweat would drip on the back of your neck. I detested that. That's honestly the reason I started shaving my head. Yeah, I've met Scump a couple times. Where did I meet Scumpy? Uh, last time I met him was at this thing. UMG South Carolina. I met him at UMG South Carolina. I met him at MLG Dallas 2010. And I've been in many Skype calls with him. Yeah, I'll most likely meet KSI when I'm in London. That's Thermite. I'm a, I was a Thermite main in Rainbow Six. Yeah, I wasn't looking for the can of Wendy's chili in stores. I was gonna like get, I was gonna like make a video where like I tried the Wendy's chili and like from a, from the restaurant and the Wendy's chili from the stores if they were actually the same. But I, could, I couldn't find the Wendy's chili can yet. I didn't really own Team MBS. I was invested in it. I tell you what, Wendy's doesn't have customer service. Ain't nothing wrong with ex-cons working places. All they're doing is trying to make some money, dude. That's one of the things. Like, this, this is the kind of shit that always gets me, um, that gets clipped and shit like this. But, like, I feel like after you've served your time, you should be free. There should be no, like, parole officer or, like, like stipulations. You did a crime... You were punished, but you're continued to be punished after you've, you've served your punishment. I agree with that too, go. It should depend on the crime. But, like, allowing people not to vote, for example, shouldn't be a thing. I was talking about, like, I feel like when somebody does a crime and they get punished for it and they were caught in the act and they do their time, when they get out, they should be free. They should be a normal person again. There shouldn't be, like, all these stipulations that go along with it. Yeah, it depends on the crime. It does depend on the crime. I agree with that. It depends on the crime. But, like, I'm talking about regular crimes. Like, I don't... I, I think there still should be stipulations for something. Like, regular crime. Like, like, selling like, weed or, like, robbing somebody. Like, the basic privileges we have as U.S. citizens should be returned to them. Well, that, that would be stip... Like, for example, like, I don't think every felon should lose their access to guns. It should be based on the crime. Right. And I, I could agree to with Because there's felony trespass. But there's also other stipulations that come with different crimes that... Yeah, I know what you're saying. That I would be like, yeah, that needs to happen. But I, my, because, my thing was more about like people like criticizing people that are ex-cons working at Wendy's or like Waffle House or something like that. Hey, I'm, at least they working. Well, because I'm like this. Like... You and I both know, and it's like this with food too. Someone that is addicted to something is prone to relapse, okay? The relapse may cause them to do something that they 
did before for to get said addiction you know just don't be a criminal problem solved we live in a system that that's, that's almost designed to have criminals the problem with capitalism is capitalism doesn't work without cheap labor the irony is most of the worst criminals are actually being voted for